<laughs> What's going on guys? This is Chandler Smith. All of my other deals have been buying and holding on to real estate and then renting it out. However, for this investment, it was actually giving someone a hard money loan. So I'm gonna talk about all of the pros and cons of hard money lending. I'm gonna talk about everything you can do to protect yourself if you decide you want to get into hard money lending. And I'm gonna talk about why I don't do it anymore. Some of the big negatives that come with hard money lending and I'll hit that on the end. So with that being said, let's jump into it. Now to get started, I'm gonna tell you how I got roped into doing my first ever hard money loan. What happened is I had a loan officer that had done a lot of my previous loans and he said, you know what Chandler, there's a lot of money to be made in hard money lending. People are paying upwards of 10 to 12% with two or three points on whatever you're lending. So for example, what a point is, is if I'm giving someone a $100,000 loan and they've got two points immediately, I'm getting $2,000 just for doing that deal. On top of that, then I'd be making a 10 or 12% return over the course of the year. Now, a lot of times I don't want them to have the money forever, so I would set a deadline of about six months or a year where after that point, they either had to pay it back or they had to know that there would be either more points or the interest rate would go up because I didn't want them to hold on to my money forever. So I did one of these deals and it actually went awesome. I loaned, I think it was like $120,000 to someone. They were doing a renovation or a fix and flip. They went in, they took my money, they had it for about six months, they paid me the points, they paid me the interest, and it was awesome. So then I realized, holy cow, I should do more of this. So I was doing more and more deals throughout the next couple deals I'll talk about in my other videos where I was still buying buy and hold real estate, but I do short hard money loans because I didn't have anywhere else to put my money and it was giving me an awesome return. Now, for those of you who are wanting to give a hard money loan, I'm gonna go through all of the things you need to know and do to be able to protect yourself and make sure that you're getting a good return and not losing money in the process. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to sit down with a lawyer and make sure that you have proper paperwork filled out so that you are first in line to the property. So for instance, if I'm loaning someone $100,000 on a property, they bought the property for $150,000, you wanna make sure no one else is giving them a loan for that other $50,000, all right? You want that out of their own pocket and you wanna make sure that you are first in line so that if they can't make payments, you automatically are going to be the one that takes ownership of that property. So that's rule number one, is make sure you have a lawyer get you the correct paperwork. And rule number two is make sure that you are first in line for that property if anything goes bottoms up. Now, a lot of people will say, oh, just get a personal guarantee. Now, I personally don't like going the personal guarantee route because if crap hits the fan, whether they're a family member, a friend, or somebody you don't know, you're still gonna have to collect from them and say, hey, we're gonna make you either take out bankruptcy, which doesn't help you anyways because you're not getting your money back, or we're gonna have to track you down or threaten or do all these extra things to get the money out because it's guaranteed personally rather than being able to just take ownership of the property. So I always want it tied to the property. So that's the next rule. Make sure it's tied to the property and you're first in line. The next thing is when you're looking at a property to give a hard money loan on, you still need to know the market and you need to know that they've got big equity in that property. For example, if someone is buying a property for $150,000 and they're using 50,000 of their own money and you can be first in line, I would take that deal all day because if things go bottoms up, what's the worst thing that's gonna happen? I mean, they've got $50,000 of their own money in it. You could take ownership of the property, knock $25,000 off market value and still make $25,000 in the deal. So you're gonna take that deal all day. The hard money loans I see where people are making a big mistake is they're loaning to someone that doesn't know what they're doing. So instead of buying a $150,000 property and borrowing $100,000, they're buying a $90,000 property. Now they might be putting 10 or 20,000 of their own money in it, but if it's worth 90,000 and they're borrowing 100,000, 
you're gonna be screwed. So you've got to make sure that they've got massive equity so that even if the market does start to go downhill, they can't make payments, you know in a fire sale you could sell that and still make money. Now, these are all of the things that you can do to protect yourself. And if you do those things, hard money loans are pretty simple. I mean, it could be complicated because you've got to take ownership of the property. But with me, because I've always gotten in them with a strong equity position, I've never had someone default or not make payments. And so I've always just gotten my return, I've gotten my points, and I've been good to go. So make sure that you've got the right things in place. Now, I've talked about how to set it up and I've talked about a little bit of the positives and the reality is there are huge upsides. I mean, if you can get a 12% return, that's an awesome return on top of a couple points. It's like, holy cow, you're not gonna find that in the stock market or anywhere else. However, here's where the catch is. And you can have some accountants that will work around it, but you've gotta count that money as income. Now, if anyone has found a different solution than counting that as normal income, let me know because I wanna know. But you're not paying like a capital gains tax or you're not able to use your depreciation against that income. That's just flat income. So if you're making good enough money to be investing or giving big hard money loans, you're probably higher up on the tax bracket, which was kind of my situation. And so being in a place where now I'm making a 12% return, it was just going on top of my income, which was cutting that down to maybe a five or 6% return, or maybe even a seven or 8% return. But it was really frustrating because that tax hit really hurt when I have that much money locked up. Because when I looked at $100,000 and only getting a six to 8% return compared to the 12% or the 20% return I thought I was getting with the points, that was really frustrating and really discouraging. Because now I'm in this situation where most of that money I was making was being taxed at a really high rate, where if I would have put that $100,000 into a different place, for example, if I would have used it as a down payment on a $400,000 property, my return would be more than double that. And so that's why I've kind of backed out of giving hard money loans. That's really the main reason, not because I was worried about the risk or because I'd lost money, but because it was putting me in a situation where it was tying up my money. And if it was tied up for six months or a year, if I found a killer deal that would have gotten me a bigger return, I was wishing I never would have put it into hard money. I was wishing I would have just kept it in the bank so that I could jump on that deal that was going to pay me a much higher return. Now, again, if you have any info on how to make it so hard money isn't counted as normal income and taxes, please let me know in the comments. And if you have any other questions about giving a hard money loan, let me know down in the comments. With that being said, I wish you the very best in your hard money lending or in investing in real estate. Because this channel, my goal is to help you to invest and create a huge passive income for yourself. So if you enjoyed the video, please push the like button, subscribe to the channel, and check out my future videos. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day.